scared about using my like extractor fan. Oh, apparently it's loud. I don't know, it scares me, so I should just turn it on and trial it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Arr. Okay, this is as far as I've ever gotten. I've plugged it in. Dana Breeze 200 millimeter two in one blow and extract fan is very convenient. It has a powerful motor and comes equipped with a heavy duty safety grill and an anti vibration mount. Two in one blows or extracts. 2800 RPM, 180 watt motor. Alright, tell me how to use it. Oh my goodness, that was just information. Look, this is the, this is the instructions. Great, thanks guys. But the backyard is completely full. As in Australia, we'd say it's chock a block. If I bring another thing in here, there's going to be no space to paint or sand or drill or nothing. And then I'm just going to be back to square one. I saw a five dollar barbell today though. It's a 20 minute drive away, so I just have to get it. It's going to have to happen. It's humid here on the Gold Coast. The paint booth went up last night. This is none of the materials that I bought. That's my luminous. Okay, so I really have to uh, start painting, but I'm like really, really worried. Here's my fan. This is the beast. This is the thing that scares me more than anything else. One of the things that scares me the most is the instructions on the fan. It says, make sure it's grounded. What is that? Is it like down to earth? Like make sure this parents taught it how to take things with good humor or what? Anyway, my husband then tried to tell me, tried to teach me what it means and it's something to do with the bottom thing here. This is what I got from what he said. Grounded is this bottom one here. And then he proceeded to explain it three times in great length and detail and I was like, hmm. The only thing I could get out of it was um, make sure. So he said make sure you put the extraction fan through the good power board. That power board, a light comes on and it's green and it says grounded. And something to do with that means that the power socket works well. And I was like, why don't they just put on the instructions, make sure your PowerPoint is not dysfunctional. He said, the way they said it, making sure it's grounded was more specific. And I was like, really? So I'm going to do his idea because he's smart. And I tend to do things that make metal go into my fingers. Look it up on the Google. This fan can be used to extract fumes, odors, dust, and stay in hot air. It's used as a blower for drying paint and suitable for ventilating workshops in small areas. It's portable and robust. I don't remember reading anything about this, but I'm just going to follow it. That I don't want to plug in anything else with the extraction fan. Maybe it said don't use a power board. Well, I don't want to read the instructions again. You know what? I'm just going to put it in here. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I think I might try and find the instruction again. There is an instruction thing and I kept it. Well, it's a really good thing that I read and found the manual again because it actually says do not use the white power cord that I was using. It has to be like a certain meterage and it's imperative that you do not allow any water, any water ever, ever to touch the power cable. And it's raining and it's raining outside. There's water everywhere and I have a gap. So really I should not have a problem. 